Hello everybody and welcome back to For Real. Today I'm going to take you for a walk along this road next to the river and we're going to go from here into Wat Atvia. And the reason we're doing this on foot is because it's a really beautiful, let's say about one and a half kilometer walk and I want to be able to show you all the lovely things that there are to see as we go. So. Once we get to the end, there'll be the tour of Wat Atvia itself. So you can choose to watch that bit or not, depending on your interest in temples. So this is the main road that goes down towards Tonlisap from Siem Reap Town. And after that little market that we were just at, you will come across the Wat Gate. And that's how you know that it's time to turn off that road. Doesn't look like this building's in use anymore. Looks like it's about to fall down. <laughs> Fancy some urbex, anyone? little house. Could benefit from a garden I feel. Hmm. Oh look there's a pharmacy. Didn't realise it was. There you go. You really do have everything you need in these little villages. So cool. Very, very dusty though. And big trucks using it too. This is actually you can see the road is bitumen, but there's just a heck of a lot of this red dust on top of it. So, would not be nice in the rain for the wet season. It was Parry was saying that she knows the people that run that pottery class up there. Let's check it out one day. <laughs> oh no no no. <laughs> Look at that place. Wow. Yes, they were offering beer. <laughs> Maybe if Jeremy was here, we might have stopped in. Would have been fun. Nothing against the idea at all. Just that I'm on foot and I am conscious that the light's going to go at some point and it's not exactly in the middle of town here. Look at this shop. See, everyone's got one of these little bridges going across to their house so they can access it over this canal. There's a house there. And bits of fruit that they're selling. Many chickens! Look at this. Even the trees just get covered in the red dust. All those bananas over there. Everything takes on this 
kind of browny red sort of colour. You can even kind of taste it in the air. Here's another bridge. Oh, that house is cute. Look at that, it's got a little garden out the front, a little outdoor setting. Lovely. It's another bridge. Going over to that house. And more cows. They're right there, <laughs> right in their front yard. <laughs> Might take you past the market on the way back too. So I'm back at the gate, back at the road that takes you out to Tonisap and just a few steps towards town from here is a little local market so I'll just keep the camera on while we walk past that see that fence there that goes most of the way along this road at the moment and they are excavating all of the river so now and then you'll get glimpses into what they're doing and it's just it looks like they're widening the bed of the river. I'm not sure. I've asked a few people, but nobody so far knows what's going on. I guess, um, it could be to do with getting the water away when it floods in the wet season. Because apparently the drainage is still not real good. Even after that a room for rent, even after all of the, um, drainage and the new roads and all that kind of stuff. Just this amount of water that comes through. Look at this, dog, dog, dog. There's a couple behind me as well. Yeah, even with all the new drainage, it's still not up to the, um, up to the task of getting rid of the amount of water that it needs to when it rains here. Small dog. Grill and stuff. Look at this. This is how you know Siam Reap's coming into its own. They have duck arounds now. Used to be a fancy Phnom Penh thing, but now it's out in the provinces. So this is the gate that I'll be going in, but I just want to show you around here so you can get a sense of the grounds that this temple sits in. So as I said, there's a modern wat here as well and lots of other buildings associated with that. It's really quiet, beautiful area around here. The ride in from um, the river road is really pretty too if you come in that way. The grass in this particular temple is quite nice too. Not something you see very often. So pretty. All right. Maybe I'll walk around on the ground in this direction first. Huge trees out here. It's so shady and nice. It's actually close to the middle of the day, but it's still really pleasant to be out. This is a very easy temple to visit from um, Siem Reap. If you're heading out towards Tonle Sap, you can stop in here on the way.
I want the views like outside here. Amazing trees. Look at it. Look at that. Stunning. And it is nice that you can come to a place like this and have it all to yourself still. Let's go into this corner so I can give you a view back of the main structure from this angle. Beautiful. It says, do not climb. I suppose people have tried to go into there. Let's go up to the main structure. Here's some stairs here. Incredibly steep though. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, last one was big. I don't think I can get over that. It's too high. Oh, gee. I know if the camera's going to pick that up. Beautiful. See the script? It's the drawing of a horse there. And an elephant above it. I didn't see that one at first. Can you see that? Just here. Look at the detail in this. It's amazing. It's an Apsara. Dancer? <laughs> There's pigeons up there. Highly recommend coming for a walk or a ride out in this direction if you've got the time while you're in Siem Reap. You can see the roofs of the um, modern Watt buildings over there. And on this side, same again, just more trees. Just beautiful. <laughs>